All right, now we're gonna go through flushing each line the way I do it on a four port manifold. And there's a million different ways to do it. The goal is that it's free of air and everything's primed and ready to go and everything's tight, okay? So I know that my contrast is more viscous, meaning it's, it's thicker in you know, its consistency. So it's like syrup. So I like to go ahead and turn this line on and to turn it on to bleed back, I turn it to the left. And when I do that, this angles this way and these arrows represent the flow. So see the flow here to here? This is bleeding back from here to here. Ooh, it's water, I forgot, it's not really contrast. So in theory, as this one's bleeding back, it's thicker and it's coming out slower, okay? We unfortunately have water in our contrast um, of valves, you know, because that's what we have to work with. So while this one is flushing, so we're gonna pretend it's flushing, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use my pressurized saline line to flush my pressure, my pressure line, okay? And I'm gonna turn it by turning this to the left because look at my arrows. It opens the flow up for this pressure line to come from here and to go here. So when I open my pressurized saline line, I'm gonna turn it to the right because again, my arrows, it represents the flow from here to here. And you see the flow? And this is all bubbles. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to prevent and handle those bubbles. So I'm gonna let gravity work with me. I try to hold this up at an angle, okay? It just encourages the bubbles to get out. You can take whatever you want to beat this with. I tap here, because bubbles are tend to get lodged here. I tap here, and then I make sure there's a bubble right here, see it? I tap below the bridge. See that bubble that was there hiding? And then I tap above the bridge. And as soon as it's done flushing, I feel good about it, I turn it off. So it doesn't matter that these are still on, there's nowhere for it to go because the end port is now closed, okay? So now I just flushed my AO line using my pressurized heparinized saline line. I'm gonna turn them back off. Now, while I was flushing those, the contrast was bleeding back because again, it's, in theory, it's more sticky, it's viscous. So as it bleeds back, I'm tapping. I'm making sure that that little bubble right there gets dislodged. And now you understand the importance of my um, cloth right here too. It's just to help me keep my table a little dry and I can come up here and cheat and do that. All right. So now some people do a wet to wet connection. A wet to wet connection meaning that this has uh, fluid in it and they practice dribbling fluid and connecting to the pressure I say land. I'll just show you what that looks like. So this is a wet to wet connection. You barely turn on your pressurized hailing saline because again, it's pressurized. So it'll come out fast if you let it. So I let it do a little dribble and I push at the same time and I connect and turn and tighten here. I turn this off. All right, so I did a wet to wet connection and I come here and I put my towel over the top of my manifold. Again, I use gravity, I hold this up. I let the plunger do the work for me. I push down on it at the same time I'm tapping because I'm trying to dislodge bubbles here and here and all through there. All right, well, I need to do that a few more times because as you can see, there's more little bubbles. So I use the pressurized saline line again. Oh, wrong one. See how I turned it on and it did the work for me, the flow of that. So I turn this on and because it's pressurized, it made my syringe fill up. I turn it back off, let gravity again do the work for me. Push down on the plunger while tapping at the same time. All right, now look at that. I feel good about it. And my last step before I like to have my manifold done is I, um, I connect my 20 inch tubing. So I go ahead and connect it here. Again, I can either use the, I mean, the control syringe and push through, or I can just cheat and use the pressurized saline, heparinized saline line and help me flush those. I turn it off and then I just tuck that in because as you can see, it's stiff, it's all over the place. And now my manifold is ready to walk to the table.